Does your MP deserve a pay rise? The answer is yes, according to an independent review, which is about to propose a significant hike in their salaries. No prizes, though, for guessing what many voters think. What we're listening to <laughs> is, is, um, is appalling stories of, of people with their noses firmly in the trough. How, you might ask, can MPs even think of giving themselves a pay rise? The answer is they're not. They no longer control, set or even vote on their own pay, pensions or expenses. That power was given to the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority after the expenses scandal. Maybe, but it's still causing the politicians a headache. This morning, with the Prime Minister away, his deputy chose to face the media and play, declaring that he personally wouldn't take any pay rise. MPs of whatever description at the end of the day are public servants paid by taxpayers, and that's why I think it would be incredibly, if not impossible, to explain to the public why MPs should be treated at this time so very differently to their constituents. Impossible to explain? I decided to put that to the test. Do you think MPs deserve a pay rise? She didn't say, but it certainly felt like a no. Do you think that MPs should have a pay rise? No. Why should they have a pay rise? But moments later, look what happens after I asked her to compare how many thousand pounds a year an MP gets with someone like an army colonel, a police superintendent or a family doctor. Independent research suggests this changes people's minds. MP, you thought 80. 66. Oh. Change your mind or still think they don't get a pay rise? I think they should get a pay rise then. You don't? <laughs> really? I do. <laughs> Not everyone is so easily persuaded though. You thought they got 200,000, yeah? Do you know what they actually get? 66. Oh. Do they deserve a pay rise? No. That's a lot of money, isn't it? No. Do they deserve a pay rise? Oh. No, people are saying here. No, I've got another job anyway, haven't I? The Prime Minister had other things on his mind in Kazakhstan today, but his party chairman signalled that the Tories' troops will be expected to stay in line, but look for other ways to cut the cost of politics. The answer here is for Parliament and MPs to be paid the, uh, the, 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 an amount uh, rather than each individual MP to come forward and say, well, I'll take this or I'll take that. The whole point of having this thing independent is to do exactly that. Money and politics are an explosive mix. Getting that independent body to set MPs pay was meant to change all that. Some hope. Nick Robinson, BBC News, Westminster.